Eight orcs. Hi, I'm here now. Uh, this is Unchowder. I feel like I say this at the start of every stream, but I'm messing with settings and stuff still. So, so if the sound is like way different, I apologize. I turned myself up a bit. Um, and I also mess with like noise gates and stuff. So if it's bad, tell me. <laughs> I'm, I tried doing some like local recording to tell what's going on, but it's an iterative process, unfortunately. There's a cat. <laughs> you want to come here? Come here. Come here. I also, I've ordered some new stuff uh, that's in the mail, so you'll see some other changes soon too. I got a new, I got a new mic arm thing that I can actually like yank around and stuff. I was I was real smart and cheaped out on on the arm that I initially got, and I'm not supposed to move it. That's that's the main thing that's been bugging me. Is I just had to find an okay spot for it to live, and never touch it again. Uh, so I bought a better one that I can like actually move and put in front of my face. So I'm hoping that that will have an impact. Um, I also don't know where to put volume levels. Is music too loud? Hi cat is now on my mouse pad. It's fine. We're playing Dwarf Fortress today. Surprise. Um, I had it open just now. There, I also have a new, kind of a new setup here that I'm fiddling with. There, look at all that. Do you want to... Come here. This is where I live now. Come here. Uh, and I have to reset the thing. Do, do, meow. I'm hoping that she gets... I'm hoping to catch her on camera a little bit more, because she makes all sorts of so funny sounds. <laughs> uh, hold on. That one, and then we go here, and do that, and there we go. Okay. Um, yeah, I just had this open, and I was working on our little Forgotten Beast statue hall here. Um, I have several more placed here. Let's just go ahead and unpause. I don't think there's anything too critical happening right this moment. Uh, but I was having a hard time finding, like I would make statues to the Forgotten Beasts. You can, there's a way to say I want a statue for a specific historical figure, which Forgotten Beasts always are, to my knowledge. Uh, beasts in general are. Uh, ooh, Bomrek has been possessed. by unknown forces. Um, I was having, a, I was making statues to the Forgotten Beasts and having a hard time finding them in the, the menu interface because things will be called different things in different contexts sometimes. Speaking of Forgotten Beasts, I'd like to, to finish that, fo that thought before I lose it entirely. Sometimes it'll go from like Diseth to whatever that means in English. Um, but the other thing I was finding was sometimes you'll commission a statue to a forgotten beast, and it'll get a statue with that forgotten beast in there. It'll be in the description, but the actual name of the statue and the like the main subject of the statue is a different person. So you'll have like I, I commission a a, a, be a statue for Diseth. And then I get a statue of Bomrek killing Disseth. Kind of a situation. Not those exactly, but um, yeah. So I went through and I, I looked at them all and I think I've figured most of them out. There were still a couple that were weird, but we're mostly there. Um, anyway, Disseth has come. Gigantic one-eyed pterosaur. I want to say that we've had a couple of pterosaurs even before. 
has a round shell and it undulates rhythmically. Rose, rose taupe scales are large and close set, but where it's webs. Yet another web spitting dinosaur in this, the lower cave. So this is fine. Is this still all closed? This is still closed, okay. Are you gonna sit down? Com just completely block the camera with your tail. <laughs> okay. Well, this Earth is about to go annihilate some ant people, is my guess. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Um, still working on magma stuff in the first cave. Oh, well, yeah, there's some webs. We don't even see what you're fighting. Uh, okay, so I've been curious about this. Every Forgotten Beast that I've looked at so far, they would have zero kills before they got to our fortress. And then they would get all their kills here. They'd get like 50 kills and then die. Um, but this one has killed a cow and an alpaca before getting here. Very eventful life. <laughs> this one is led. Just killed another ant person. Um, and a, a pterosaur? Does that mean it flies? Splat. Dead. Uh, we'll leave that beast down there. <laughs> Let the ants take care of it. Uh, meanwhile, Bombrek has claimed a foyer's workshop. That's interesting. Maybe making a, a fancy bow or a crossbow. I treasure my freedom. More stuff, huh? Gem shiny. Mm. Have we gotten rid of too many bones? Also, not sure what the creature is doing there. <laughs> it's just staring off into space. of bones, right? Uh, what if I unforbid some of these? Stray alpaca bones. There. <laughs> I'm just gonna come grab it real quick. There's also... Sounds. Uh, this was a bone pile for crafting purposes. I can still accept these. gear for some new soldier squads that we made at the very end of last stream. Um, hopefully, hopefully gonna get them geared up and... okay. Um, oh, poor Gorlack. Dead Gorlack. Uh, we're gonna get our two new squads kitted out and trained up a bit, and we're gonna send them off, send them off on to the world screen. Have them hopefully kick some goblin butt. Uh, equipment mismatch, that'll get resolved. We're spinning thread, finally. Figured that out. And you're just, what? Roaming around? I guess that's what they do. Cat is squawking. Anyway, um, that's going to continue. 
for the foreseeable future. Curious if these are getting placed slowly. <laughs> you can see how much, like, the weight of what they carry determines how fast they can move. These are four people carrying statues. And then there's just another person walking it two, three times as fast. Very cool. I don't know, can you move? I don't know if you can move statues with wheelbarrows. I thought we had wheelbarrows in that stockpile that these are coming from. So like this, this is one. Or no, that's not a good example. Maybe this one? Yeah. Uh, no, that's... That was one of the werebeasts. So that one actually is a goblin. Yeah, here we go. So I asked for a statue for the Forgotten Beast, Fiva, and, and then see the, like the name was different. I still have it up here somewhere. Fiva, oh, of course you are. Of course my thing is too bright. Uh. Fifa Kava piece. Or no, that's even a different one. Right? Cattle? Yeah, no, Fiva. Oh, jeez, the name was super long. Fiva Otiri Yakiahi Loafi Nefany. Very long name. But like when we get the. When the beast shows up, we see its name. And then when it dies, it gets turned into uh, Fiva Ship Fates, the Gland of Squirting. And then I asked for a statue to that Forgotten Beast, and I got a statue to Cattle killing the Forgotten Beast. So then when you look at the, the names of all your statues, all you see is Cattle, which has nothing to do with the original subject matter of the thing we are asking for, except for a relation that we don't have in our brains. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're still attempting to breed ravens. That's one thing that is eluding me still. Mitty yard and robe. Gorlack caught in the web. Um, and like this one too. This one's to a the cavefish person, even though I asked for the Forgotten Beast. So it's fine. They are awfully slow. <laughs> Gonna make sure nothing important is happening. Not particularly. One of the things that I was thinking about, as far as more things that should be done in this fortress, or things that we can do, play. Like, okay, experiment, I guess is the where I'm going with this. Um, there's some there's some things that I've learned from, from this fortress and how we've laid things out and constructed things and I'm going to take those lessons and we're going to go on and, and make the next fortress better. Uh, that's kind of one of the main things I enjoy about Dwarf Fortress is like just progressively getting slightly smarter about how you do things. Um, or dumber. That's also a thing. Progress isn't always forward. <laughs> um... But one of the main things that I've been thinking about is our bathhouse, waterfall, stairwell situation, just generally speaking. 
Um, and what, what we did here was just have, like, we kind of have our big main stairwell, and most of it's just a stairwell, nothing special about it, but then you get down to the bottom, and there's a waterfall situation, and then I've constructed the fortress such that, like, they have to come here frequently, just so that they're going... Um... Is that more child assaulting? Lime maker. Dwarven child punches the lime maker in the head. This child has killed another person. I don't even know what his kill count's up to. Uh, where? It must have just happened, right? Where is he? Sleep. You happy with yourself? Six notable kills. Five people. This child. This 13 year old has killed five citizens out of Antrim nonsense. can't even kick him out. I can bring him to justice. Can I try to check? Look at all this. Perish is he? Yes. Okay. All tuckered out from the murder. Um, okay. So yes, long story short is I have some thoughts in my head about a way to do waterfall staircase and things different. But I kind of want to do a trial run here. So I might construct some things that don't have an actual functional purpose in this fortress for the purposes of learning for the next fortress. Um, and this is what we were working on here fixing our magma situation. Um, this is all dry, which is good. This is all smooth, yes. This is all smooth, this is all smooth. I guess I can do it this way. And then that's all fine. So. Are you grabbing? Who are you grabbing? Are you here for the gypsum? It worked. Okay. He was just being slow about it. <laughs> Glad you figured it out. Are you hauling something? No. You were just here. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to wall this off. I'm not going to bother putting up a new gate in here because this is already behind another gate and we're fixing a broken thing. Um, so I'm just going to do a wall. Suspend is going. Um, here, let's. We'll see if someone gets locked in here. Um, a bulky almond wood crossbow. I don't know what bulky means in that context. Um, should I. Give it to someone, or should I just display it? I think I should just display it. It's, I mean, it's just a wood crossbow. Now they have a better one. Weapon. Bulky almond wood crossbow. 
Fathom Shodak. I want to look at it once it gets here. I'm curious what's bulky about it. Okay, we're working on clothes. That's good. gotten a lot of our garbage situation cleared up so I think that's why some of the jo these jobs are kind of starting up again um, we've had our entire fortress on corpse disposal mold mode for a little while so yeah um, I'm gonna start having them smoothing out our whole fortress and I'll get I'll get I think I have a team of engravers that aren't doing anything right now yeah we've got some decent engravers and we'll start engraving the holding fortress and we can start filling all of our statue nooks I've been I've been holding off on the repeating uh, porcelain statue and decoration job situation that's just a yak that's not in a thing. Yak. Get in the bed. You're all fine. Yeah, you're all fine. Is it here yet? It's here. It is encrusted with cushion, rose, quartz, cabochons, round granite, cabochons, tapered baguette, cut chryso chrysocolas, and decorated with alpaca leather. <laughs> On the item is an image of Aesob noble steels, the dwarf, and dwarves. Aesob is surrounded by the dwarves. The artwork relates to the ascension of the dwarf Aesob to the position of the king of the dipped ceiling in the midsummer of 114. This is, yeah, cool. Except that's not our current king. Aesob? I thought our, our king had a different name, I thought. Any rate, this is a this is a crossbow that's commemorating the ascension of a king in our civilization, so that's kind of cool. Um, on the image is a dog in green zircon. The dog is in the fetal position. <laughs> the artwork relates to the slaughter of a dog in Elder Ring in the early winter of 116. On the item is an image of Babok paper ta paper tapers. That's a good name. An alpaca bone. Nothing about it. Hello, welcome back. Um, I'm looking at this this ridiculous crossbow that a dwarf just made. Um, on the item is an image of Babak, the dwarf in alpaca bone. On the item is an image of Smun, Smunsu, hatred traps, the goblin, and Ori nut, nuts planted, the human. <laughs> Ori nuts planted is shooting Smutsu. Uh, the artwork relates to the shooting of the goblin by the human in 71 in the Onslaught of Knives. So there's like four images on that one crossbow. Yeah, I'm, I just put it in my, my museum for now. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, thanks for, thanks for the shout out. I mean, I was just coming by to say hi. I figured you've been here so frequently. It's like a, oh, it's not, not a politeness thing, but like a, I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. It seemed seemed like I should come say see what you're up to. <laughs> um, I'm glad it did. Um, that's all good. Also, I've been fiddling with sound stuff, so if stuff is bad, just tell me. Um, indeed. Uh, I was. I don't know the 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 football game. I. I was kind of intrigued by it. Um, there were a couple of moments where you're like looking at a per looking at a sports person and, and looking at like, I don't know, someone said that they wanted to learn Swedish or something. It's like they have hopes and, and needs and 
They, they just looked like dwarves. The dwarves on a soccer field is what I saw. <laughs> it was kind of cool. Um, yeah. I mean, what is genre anyway? I'm... Uh, I'm kind of considering myself a variety streamer. I know that's a thing that people say. Some people will, like, stream a million different games. And some people will stream one game forever. But I want to stream, like, a couple games for a while. I don't know what you're supposed to call that. So, so yes, there's, like... There's the thing that I've been doing. There's this. But I play all sorts of other games. I have interest in all sorts of other games. And even if I don't want to play them, I find them interesting. They're cool to watch. Uh, Dwarf Fort is the one to try and tempt people. Yeah, for sure. I mean, this is definitely my bread and butter. This is the one that I'm focusing on, at least for the foreseeable future. I'm kind of doing like Dwarf Fortress during the week and then variety on weekends. That's kind of how I'm thinking about it. A dwarf forest. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell people to smooth like the entirety of my fortress at this point. Um, we're getting we're getting through our backlog of of things, and now I just want things to look nice. So we're gonna make things look nice. Um, there's all this. I want to revisit this. Um, obviously not all those are going to happen, but that's fine. You could probably mod Dwarf Forest. There's there's so many mods. There's like a... Um, I mean, you could just play as elves. That's Dwarf Forest. <laughs> I'm also still confused why those don't... I can't smooth the rock directly underneath the pedestals without moving the pedestals, so now it's just going to be ugly forever. Uh, I know a guy who does mostly music and then video games one night. It's nice to see people mix it up a bit. It's helpful to have one or two core things. Yeah, totally. Um... Yeah, I feel like if you just do everything from the start, then there's nothing to, like, bring people back. So you kind of have to establish yourself as, as something and then branch out from there. Which works for me. I will play this game forever. Very happily. There's not really anything down here, except we haven't really smoothed out our throne yet. So I don't want to smooth out the floor because I'm going to replace it all. And it looks like we already engraved the wall. So then we're good. You can hear the cat out in the living room just meowing plaintively. Plaintively. Words. Um, so that's all smooth. This is utilitarian area. Look at all these teeth. Someone's, this is a goblin's lower front tooth, a goblin's lower left back tooth, upper right back tooth, right foot. <laughs> um, speaking of, let's go ahead and just, go ahead and dump all that, that's fine. Don't need to hold on to it. This is all fine, and then... Do I smooth out the, all this? I smooth out this at least. Let's just do... Smooth. Oh. Game. 
<laughs> oh, did I kill it? Too much smoothing. Oh, it recovered. Holy cow. I was not expecting that. I was expecting to just have to restart and get our save back. So that's cool. Um, and then up here too. but that's fine. I'll keep him busy on the hospital for sure. <laughs> the game's real game is chugging. I have issued too many commands. Um, okay. <laughs> the Remains of a very bloody situation here. I'm glad all the corpses are gone, at least. Um, but yeah, now we'll have a smooth fortress. Baron of Grizzled Orbs. Okay. And we're... No, stop. Stop being depressed. Is that how you fix that? Okay. Cool. We didn't trap anyone here with our wall. Right? Cool. So now that we've done that, we just need to mine out this. Theory will be dumping magma again. <laughs> Cancels pickup equipment, too depressed. take care of that and then we were also looking here right how's this oh this is already drying out all on its own perfect look at that i didn't have to do anything a couple of little pawns still oh my goodness much less water Okay, what do you want? More quivers. I could just drop magma here. Question is, do I? Do I? <laughs> I was like, we had dwarves fallen here. <laughs> There's all sorts of gear in there. Um, okay. So in theory, this will start dumping shortly. Does someone wanna? Hello, dwarves. Plenty of miners. Just 
Everyone just takes off their shoes to eat, apparently. <laughs> our, our frames are going back down. That's fine. I've also thought about revisiting this, maybe adding like another loop around, but we also haven't really run into any real issues, so maybe I don't care. It ain't broke. Um, but I'm also curious if there's anywhere we can shove some doors for FPS reasons. Call this... Hard to tell <laughs> under the the smooth designations. Um, this is all fine. This is all fine. We put some hatches here. Just put hatches everywhere. place them all. That's pretty handy. Just a random shield. just don't work sometimes. I forgot how much space I put between my, like, the main layers of my fortress. It's like we're between two cave layers, and I have, like, the military stuff at the top, and I have the royal stuff at the very bottom, and, like, a section in the middle. There's a couple gaps in between. Which is fine. Just forgot how how many stairs were here. Come on. Mayor wants stuff. Just a random cabinet in the stairwell. Surely that wasn't a child punching someone or something. Would it be? So this is an upward stairway, this is a downward stairway. I never actually connected. Handsome. 
think we can just construct Is that Does that work that way? Well, I guess we'll see. No, I built space for a second trade depot. Curious, because the last one never like unpacked. It sat here for the whole season, saying, "Hold on, we're almost ready." So I'm curious if a second depot does anything. Like I almost guarantee you, it doesn't do anything. I don't know. I'm I'm curious to see if it has any impact at all, really. Hey, a dwarf baby. Want more anvils because of course you do. everywhere. That child. Are you going to kill someone again? You were... In the midst of carrying a door. You threw a door. I'm just gonna sit here. <laughs> Are you gonna actually murder someone again? You did. There's blood on the ground here now. Splattering of someone else's blood. Starting a fist fight. Child. <laughs> Causing jobs to cancel. Look at this. We are all trying to come together as a community to make our fortress look a little bit nicer, and you're just going around punching people. I mean, it's just... This is the murder child. Still, still mid tantrum. No health problems. He is agile. Look, more. <laughs> How do you keep getting away with that? You don't have weapons. You are barehanded. Do I put the child in the military to take advantage of this uncanny ability to just murder everyone? Or, like, giving him a weapon sounds awful. Punches the stone cutter in the leg. Punches the stone cutter in the leg. Punches the stone cutter in the leg. Grabs the stone cutter by the glove. Punches the stone cutter in the body. I don't think I can put the child in the military, but I think like I would have to wait for him to become not a child. Um, but yeah, there's there's definitely no UN. There's no there's no Geneva Convention here. <laughs> um, all the races do have like their own ethics. 
Like there, there's they're they're set in a file. Um, but it usually dictates things like um, uh, the, 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 whether or not they eat sentient creatures and things like that. Um, send them to the obsidian zone to fight the fish people. Uh, good question. I can't tell him to go to a specific place without being in a military squad, though I could. I could give him a personalized burrow. This, this is, I mean, this would be... This is the evil solution. Oh, hey, look, we're doing... We're, we're flooding again. Perfect. So, like... That's assuming he'll even accept a burrow order. But I can do this, and we'll call this time out. Um, realistically, he's, I mean, he's being convicted for his crimes and he keeps going to jail and then getting back out again. Um, I won't be able to sort this. That's the real problem. This is just literally everyone. <laughs> uh, Erish, child, you. So I've I've assigned him to that burrow. Um, will he pay attention? I have no idea. Um, Olivine door has been destroyed. What? Oh, was that someone's, someone's fancy sock was in the magma chute? Fine. That's all fine. Now there's a bunch of people unconscious. At least one person dead. Doing good. Um, the hospital. Which they haven't gotten there yet. But I'm curious if Erish will go there? Play. See, like, still tantruming. Tantrum over. Fist fight is still a priority. Let's see if he goes up there. I was close to a waterfall. I'm so relieved. Didn't feel anything after seeing Mesbeth die. It's a real passive way to say that. You murdered him. Now playing make-believe on the stairwell again. Shameless. <laughs> Anger prone. Bad with words. And shameless. Clearly. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll see if that ends up happening. Um, so, like, there's all this gets convicted. I'm wondering if the fact that he's a child means he's not showing up, he's not going into jail. So we have, we have a hammerer. Who, in theory, will meet out physical punishment for some things. I don't know if children are treated different as far as their punishments go. He seems to be getting off light, considering he's killed six or seven people now. Still 
circle here. Child. Um, let's check our magma. This is, this is going pretty quick. Happy with that. Um, okay, so most of them died. We do still have this little area under our walkway. So we will have a couple left. Water leaking through there, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I mean, okay. So I'm curious if our magma dumping here can keep flooding over this way, or if I need to make another spigot. Because I prefer it to just be done and figure itself out, but we'll see. So we're, we're pumping. So we expanded our forges, so this is cool. efficient way to get magma from like the main pool here down into my or the, the input of my pump stack because really this is like this is the bottleneck of our our magma flow in the cat in the cavern in the caverns the caverns <laughs> this is our choke point because the the pumps are pumping as fast as it's coming in here you just have to wait for it to flow through here oh crap Beast fur gig has come a huge hairy mite. It has large mandibles and it squirms and fidgets. Its taupe gray hair is short and even, but where it's deadly blood. This is also downstairs. Oh, now there's two of them down here. You want to see them fight again? There's another web spitter down here right now. Not to mention all the garbage. Kaiju battle? Uh, oh, they're still both alive. Nope, there we go. Web spitter wins. Everyone is surprised, I'm sure. The forgotten beast misses the forgotten beast. Thanks. Partially free of the web. Bites in the right mandible. Oh, jeez. They're biting each other's faces. Caught in the web, falls over, partially free. Caught in the web, partially free. Latches on firmly. 
beast breaks the grip of the teeth on the th leg. Okay. Artery has been opened. Forgotten beast kicks a forgotten beast in the body and the park collapses. So just kicked in the chest. Cool. Chalk another one up to the web spitters. Natural or supernatural? Written on the item is a manual entitled Surveying, Natural or Supernatural. Concerns a process of surveying land. Fairly crisp. Overall, the prose is splendid. Yeah, that was a strong one. The webs, like webs above everything else. Is like you have to be particularly the, the beasts don't have gender at all as far as I can tell um, like if you look at a dwarf like a little gender marker you go to um, we have a cage thing. if you go to our uninvited guest there's just nothing so it I assume uh, they're just like, like half of them aren't even made of organic material. You'll see them made out of fire or salt or whatever, so. So, but yes, this is a strong one. This one now has several kills, 30 kills, and a forgotten beast. They transcended or they like haven't gotten there yet <laughs> so many of them are, are like as old as the world itself what are you doing light of day questioned hmm. they are proto proto gender I would love it if they just didn't eat in here. That's one big thing I'm gonna carry forward into the next fortress is making sure the, kit, the, the kitchen and the dining hall are right next to each other. I'm not entirely sure why we're back down to 15 frames. I assume it's partly the magma and partly all the jobs that I just gave them. Um, kitchen just meaning the place where I have my food workshops. Um, there's no there's no official kitchen zone, um, but I have, you know, all my food is made here. Um, farmer, kitchen, kitchen, butcher shop, uh, still... Um, functionally, the thing that I need to make sure is that the place where the food is stored is closest to the dining hall and that there aren't any other tables and chairs closer to where they get the food than the actual dining hall. Because um, my understanding is that they'll, they can just come and grab food and then they look for the closest chair and they go there. They don't have any preference to the dining in actual dining halls. Um, also, this stockpile keeps being full. Another one of these. Here, keep going. Are you really made out of glass? You're killing me. You're killing me. Glass is important. It's not for that. Okay. 
Um, so I made a bunch of places for hatches to go, but I don't think we're making more. Grates. We don't need more grates. I think we're good on crates. Um, hatch cover. Okay, so that's... They're going to keep making hatch covers until they've placed them all. So that'll work. Also still trying to figure out these... These ravens. Okay, well now there's some eggs there. Hatchlings! <gasps> Raven hatchlings! I've literally taken the entire fortress <laughs> to get a couple of hatchlings. Ah, uh, but that's good. And they're even all trained. Okay. And then this one's like... around okay okay um so yeah <laughs> zero zero year old hatchling so that must have just happened raven hatchlings half hatched that just happened okay so i want to say that we have Auto nest box is not turned on. Auto assign egg laying female pets to nest box zones. Yay, there they go. Ravens for everybody. Okay, well that's one. I was going to say one mystery solved, but I don't actually know what it was that fixed that. <laughs> Maybe they do need to be... Like, the male raven needs to be on the same tile as the female to actually fertilize eggs like that? It seems strange to me, but... That seemed to be what fixed it. Uh, but now... We're on, we're, you know, on the path of, of domesticating ravens. The whole process of domesticating means you have to train and then they have to give birth and you have to train the offspring and then they have to give birth and they, that's how it works. They eventually become domesticated. Um, we're making doors. I'm making pig iron for steel. Oh, jeez. Our silly hatches are... That's fine. He'll figure it out. Probably. Maybe. <laughs> Whatever. I'll let them go. I'll do their thing. Magma is going good. I think we're probably going to need another... spigots. So go like here. Mm, why not? I can just do this. Except that, that this will never stop leaking. Eventually turn it off. Um, 
Okay. Let me get another spigot over here. Put in some stairs. Two more. And then I think we'll be done with our atrocities. Or this atrocity, I guess? Okay. Did this wall ever get finished? No. <laughs> this is just permanently busted. Um, we should also, and I want this trash taken care of, but of course this is still dangerous because this is like the only place with fish in it still. situation here. Our miners don't seem to want to come down here and, and mine here. I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, let's take, let's take our squads. Let's just come down here real quick. I'll try not to fry you alive. Junk. An eons worth of garbage. We are now quite knowledgeable helmet sneak trainers. Hooray! <laughs> Our entire fortress is working on giving up on placing floor hatches. Soldiers coming. Oh, come back here. Gelder, collect webs. Okay. Unless a tree has blocked off our path or something. Is that what happened? can get through here. Oh, did I cut this off? But they can come up. They can like come up through here. Hmm.
Sanctify. Pick up equipment. Where's our station need people? Store, store. Wow. Unreachable location. Why is this an unreachable location? What do you mean? Okay, let's try this. And now you can get here. Hey, look, a raven. Six children. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, here they come. This one owned. Uh, where would it even say? Relations. Bonded. Okay. You're bonded to this guild here. No, not that one. <laughs> Only daughter. You just had five sons and one daughter? Thanks. Everyone's gonna just keep doing that. That's fine. Melting stuff. Still not seeing our soldiers. Who are you? Place item in tomb. Obsidian. Maybe what we need is another path over here. Where did that soldier go? See, okay, so they can come all the way down and around. That's what they're doing. Up and around, I should say. So that'll be that'll be good. But they can clearly get over here. Okay, so we have a couple soldiers there. Let's try moving them over here. trees in here. I should move our our auto chop zone. I have a DF hack is is keeping our wood levels in check, but it's we're chopping from the surface. I should like chop from down here now that's going to be safe. Theoretically. Okay. So they can get here. Get here. Yes. Why was this so hard for you? Like this is all fine. Okay, station here. Reachable. Lies. It, just here. You can go there. 
Do you not like all these trees? Right? What else is... Your path is not blocked. You little dorks. You can go... Wait, do I need to, like, show you? Come up here. No. confused. We don't have any fancy burrows here. There should be no difference between here and here. Clearly the mole dogs think they're trapped here as well. Hey look, more migrants. Very helpful. What is your problem? Mm, I want to check on the equipment of our new squads. They're working on it. Need pants. Steel greaves. Working on it. Okay. And they're working on a bunch of stuff still. That's fine. I'll let them go. They should be training in the meantime, at least. Oh, come on. here. <laughs> Why is... Can you go here? Okay, so that's fine. What about here? No. Here. No. That is wild. I have no idea. about right here. Can we go... Can we go here? No. Can we go here? They can even go down. Like, look, that's... They're fine. Okay, fine. Stop. Stop being broken. Uh, mandated construction, that's fine. Up to 165 dwarves. Already gotten in. Here they are. The peasant, weaponsmith, fish cleaner, goose, peasant, peasant. That's fine. Okay. 
a handful of peasants. This is all, they're all just gonna... They'll figure it out eventually. Some of them are getting placed. There's also plenty of smoothing to be done still. They're too busy failing to place hatches. What did you want? Three more anvils? I'm trying to use my metal for the dwarves. bunch of these getting placed it's just gonna it's gonna take them a while that's fine and look this just immediately filled up again we have look at all those buckets that's too many buckets um we have empty bins what if i just say dump some buckets. I feel bad throwing away perfectly good buckets, but this is too many buckets. Look at this. Um, but we're, we're needing them to bring a bin over here so they can put all this stuff into a bin. It's just spreading out everywhere and being completely out of control. Um, we can move our wool down here. Those are without bags. Just sand specifically. And this is empty bags, okay. for room, but why not, I guess? I need a couple of skulls in there. How's the magma? Let's see. I'm doing okay. Uh oh. Who's this time? Oh, it's just more cave fish. Or not cave fish. More ants. Or our web beast. Fish dream. <laughs> I dream of fish. They're in a different cave, I'm sorry. Thirty-one pills. interesting about that artifact that had an image of the ascension of the king it wasn't this king I'm pretty sure there was a king who reigned for a very short period of time between our queen dying and the current king it didn't happen here though so I don't know what happened <laughs> Just 
spray a raven corpse down here. I don't think that was one of mine. I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick, but uh, keep an eye on this one. I'm probably gonna find some more ant people. There's more damp stone. Um, could I just go from here instead? Almost. I mean, that'd probably be fine. Yeah, let's do... Child, why with the tantrums? <laughs> Who are you going to kill now? Okay, so maybe this will not be Aquifer? Guess we'll find out. suspending everything, it's fine. Um, where's our child? Child? Why can't I... Still playing all the while. It also seems that he never went to his timeout corner. Someone, I can tell. One of these days you're gonna assault a soldier and it's gonna be over. Bitter dwelling upon wearing tattered clothing. I mean, you're 
basically fine. Don't attack the dogs. A lot of this got smoothed. These kids' tantrums last for a while. No, not the library. No, not the library. Everyone's eating in there. Don't do it. Oh my god. Bard. <laughs> Cannot breathe. Ability to stand lost. The child. <laughs> Dwarven child punches the bard in the hand. Dwarven child punches the bard in the arm. Child punches the bard in the neck. An artery has been opened. Dwarven child kicks the bard in the upper lip and the apart explodes into gore. The force pulls the head, tearing the fat. The child has calmed down. <laughs> Tantrum over. Faf boot, boot tuft. Uh, so now the question is, is this bard dead? Can you get to a hospital? <laughs> she didn't care. I am picking up equipment. And the child is just continuing to play make-believe with this unconscious bard. Not even unconscious, just gotten the crap beaten out of her so hard that she can't stand. And now you're over here eating, right? Yeah. Now she's dead. Oh my god. Found dead being generous. Yeah, like for real. <laughs> this child is going to kill our whole fortress. When he's old enough, we can expel him. But like, I can't expel him because he's a child. <laughs> uh, oh look, a diplomat. <laughs> I'll check out the library. Corpse. Child. I'm gonna not check out the library. <laughs> hey, unclear. I mean, we could look at his skills. He's a skilled fighter, competent striker, adequate thrower. So he's better than the average 13 year old, I'm sure. But like he would still need to train like a normal dwarf to become good, you know? He's not exceptional. Probably just, uh, he's agile. He could, it's possible that he's just so agile that he wins every fight. 
the other thing is that, um, like in a tantrum setting, pretty sure people aren't fighting back. He's assaulting people, and they aren't really defending themselves. Like, here's, here's Fath. She stands up, but the, the dwarf child is doing all the action here. She's not punching back. Which is normal. And it's normal for tantrums to happen. It's normal, normal, normal for them to get into fist fights. It's not normal for them to all be lethal like that. This kid is just more deadly than normal, I guess. For whatever reason. Jeez. Do I? I'm hoping those get figured out. All those job cancellations do kind of gum up the works a bit, but we can also just deal with it. Um, I mean, can I just... I could probably just assign him to a rope. And not in a... Not in a hanging sense, but in a... <laughs> um, detention sense. How about this? How about this? You want to see a fight? We'll give you a fight. I'm going to tie him up in the corner of the barracks. Hey, look at all these crafts. That's too many crafts. Please put them in bins. Damp stone. Okay. But that's kind of expected, I guess. Someone's coming. I'm going to keep an eye on this to make sure I don't flood this stairwell before it's done. It's all doing its thing. And there's fire. Oh, someone's clothes. I hope that wasn't a person. I don't think it was a person. Okay. Uh, this seems like it's gone about as far as it's going to. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn this spigot off by that. Oop. Well. Down here. Someone coming. This is all so far out of the way <laughs> from the fortress. A visiting scholar, that's always nice. I 
think that they were going to have such a hard time with the hatches. I assume it's just because people keep using the stairs as they try to place them. Masterpiece steel helm. Very cool. Was only one level of, of aquifer. Holy cow. Like, okay, so there's dampstone here, but this is fine. Just do that quickly, please. Of course, you're gonna go run off. That's all wet. That's all wet. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Hopefully that's fine. Did we get our rope? We got our rope. Let's assign... Oh, I'm not going to be able to assign a child, am I? No. Rope is not for chicken. Rope is for children. Oh, look at all these ravens! Excellent. We have a whole... Oh, there's another four there. Females. Perfect. Um, but I guess I can't just assign it's part of barracks. So it's gonna, I don't know, just put you in the hallway. <laughs> So now this is just going to drain. It's going to take forever. That's fine. all I care about. If there's a hole, then the aquifer can be dealt with. But without a drain, it's quite gnarly. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to put a floor bar. Essentially, I'm going to wait for this to peter itself out, and then I can put a floor here, and then connect it here, and then the magma will just come through here instead of going down here. And then 
likewise, we want another spigot over here, right? Did I... I already figured that out. Where did I put it? Is that down here? That was here. Okay, so I want to do... Moldog has given birth to naked Moldog puppies. They've been stuck over here for so long that they're reproducing. So we chopped these. Do I just need to... What's our nuclear option here? Just snap. Figure it out. <laughs> Are you actually making progress? Some of, well, that means yeah. on for a while. <laughs> hmm, what would be the alternative? How would you do that differently? Of course, the door here didn't work. All these stairs worked, though. Or maybe not. These are just up. Can I construct stair? Is that? Does it work that way? Okay, well. Except I don't want these to be upstairs. Hmm. Weird. We'll see if that works. <laughs> Furniture stockpile is way too large and full of buckets. smoothing is going a bit slower than I thought it was going to. That's fine, though. We'll, we'll work through it. <laughs> um, most of our statues got placed. These are all these are all decorative porcelain statues. Um, so I'm going to start plopping those around, too. Some of these spots are already engraved, so I'm just gonna... Or even, you know what we can do? We go statue, and then we do set filter. And we say decorated only, yes. Don't care about the quality. Um, any statue, I wanna do clay statues. No. Can I just do porcelain? Any statue of porcelain that is decorated. Right? So then 
if I do that. Is it only... So it's... Full train. Okay, well... Some statues. We filled our. We haven't quite filled here. We'll put some stuff here. And up here. Porcelain statue of a slug. That belongs in the dining hall. And cave spiders. This is all engraved, right? Yeah. <laughs> now there's a there's a tree there. Like yeah, we have full on trees in our bathhouse. Okay, now I'm curious. Yeah, okay. So in theory, I am telling it that I want a decorated porcelain statue once another one has been made to be put there. So we'll, we'll see if this works. The ones that will that are currently made will get set no problem. But in theory we can just tell we can put on like a porcelain statue repeat job, which I think we already have. Make clay statue. Um, this might even be specific to this one workshop. Yeah. Um, we've got plenty of, of material for that. part is the decorating. Which button? This button. Um, so then essentially we just wait for more statues to be made and they'll be put here and then we can give an encrust order and it'll automatically get placed. here. Cool. See, someone's... Maybe I will turn on Auto Nest Box. Auto Assign Eggling Female Pets to Nest Boxes. Okay. Try that, and we'll see if we can get a couple generations out of our ravens. Oh, 
What happened? The artwork has been lost. Oh. Uh-huh. Oops. What was that? Yeah. <laughs> the timeout zone didn't really work. section is still uh, technically draining. Not even technically, it is draining. <laughs> A hot take, yes. Um, yeah, hi. I do need to... I did. I made that as my title and I haven't actually... Oh jeez. I haven't actually dug any deeper yet. Uh, we're still working on... Magma for fishes. Uh, is this... That's fine. Um, and then here, that got dug. So another floor bar. But in theory, we just have like, like here's our here's our water level. We just got all this all this filled in. We have this little bit here, which is already draining. Even we have this bit here, which is filled with fish, of course. But past that, kind of good. Like this whole part, this all dried out without me having to, to drop any. So that's cool. Um, and then there was whatever weirdness is going on up here. Yeah, okay. I can't get people to go over here. <laughs> I don't know why. I was having squad stationed here and they couldn't go like here despite there being open paths. So I'm, I'm telling them to just like clear cut it all. Curious if that has helped so far. Mm, we're forging, we're picking up equipment, we're smoothing, we're storing. Holy cow. Yes, unreachable location. Why? Is it cursed? Superstitious dwarves? I could always just drop more magma here and deal with the <laughs> naked moldogs. I'm not worried about them in a military sense. I just want to get over here to clear them out and dig all this obsidian out and stuff. Mm. Curious. Um, and then there's also down here we have somewhere here all of this obsidian as well curious if they can almost do like this is lower priority
probably good enough for now. I mostly just want to I want to make enough space so that I can I can open up these little pockets and let them just kind of spill out and evaporate, and then we'll be done with water. At least that's the idea. Uh, but like up here, I have no idea <laughs> what's happening. there. Probably not. Yeah, unreachable location. Hmm. Weird. dig deeper, but considering our, um, our FPS situation, hi creature, nothing ever goes wrong digging deeper, it's always the best and proper thing to do as a dwarf. Find a spot to dig down from that's not let's be at this. find something fun. <laughs> We've seen down pretty far because a couple of dwarves have fallen into our magma magma chamber. Jeez, how far? This goes down really far. Here we go. Here's the actual magma sea up in the corner of the mini map. Um, let's go down, we'll designate down to a hundred, but there's like no way we're gonna get down that far. citizens to to ropes and such. I want to do something with that freaking tantruming child. I'm just 
never ends up in the prison. I mean, I don't, I can't assign children to military units, as far as I'm aware. Of course, I can't search within here. Like all the ways that I know how to deal with armory people, I can't do because it's, this one's a child. I can't kick him out. I'm assuming children can't be part of your squads. I mean, I could... One thing you can always do is wait for them to go to their... their bedroom, and then just, like, shut them in permanently. Which is harder to, to do with my current setup, actually. Should... Uh, Murderer child, yes. Murderer child and not child murder, which is kind of what I wanted to do right now. Where? Erish. Erish. You. Oh no. It's working on pasturing our ravens. Be gentle. <laughs> That's true. Just get your entire bedroom situation like random. Like put a put a grid of magma above all the bedrooms with little individual hatches and gates and, and levers. And then oh I don't like that one, just pull the lever. It would work. I've heard of people doing similar things to nobles, uh, like kings and such, because some people don't like them. Uh, still working on those anvils. And all these stupid floor hatches, I'm wondering if that was... I mean, they're getting done. There's just so many. And then too much furniture. Everything but bags and sandbags. Okay. I'll come down here and we'll do even more. Furniture. No, these are zones. That's my problem. Except furniture. Not bags. Not sandbags. That'll help a little. clothes. That's good. Uh, we currently have a forgotten beast, a, a web-slinging forgotten beast in the, uh, in the cavern. But it's just kind of chilling down there. some of these? These are going to take forever. Mm 
And this got... This is upward. Connecting this silly stairwell all the way through has been a pain. Can I just do this? Like... Is that how it works? Can I just do this? Now that'll be up, down, that'll just be up. <laughs> Why can't I... Why can't I just connect stairwells? What if I do this? Cancel, 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 cancel. So those will still be up, downs, and then we'll build up, downs there, and these are already up, downs. Okay, maybe that'll work. floor hatches. I mean, geez, I put a whole bunch down. It's all figured out. They're smart, right? Uh, we also have our two new squads working on equipment, still needing pants, mostly. Which is cool. No, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, just greaves. Make greaves. Yeah, okay. Well, they're getting there. Probably want, like, even another... ten. If no one has any. Do that. Um, that hasn't happened yet. This is still draining slowly. Very slowly. It's still waiting on that. This has been done. Think I want to smooth. Yeah. Just in case. Becoming fine. Uh, okay. Ridiculous. You're... It's like a mask pencil tool? Something?
half of all on fish. Just ignore me, it's fine. More strange moods. Suffering and pain. Okay. Oh, look, the child is throwing a tantrum. is going to die this time. Okay. I'll let you figure out those last couple. There's two, there's two, there's two, there's two. Okay, the rest of these. Wow, you really did like half of them. Okay, you're just gonna sit next to the crafting floor and probably murder someone who's very valuable to our fortress. That's my guess. Fine so far. He does really like stairwells. The goblin leader, Cog, has shared many tales from beyond Elder Ring. Cool. And Kib. Oh, you're, you're tantruming just outside of a claimed workshop, aren't you? Which one is claimed? This one. Where is Kib? You, are you? Stop. <laughs> Not the jeweler. Ugh. Oh, where'd you go? Okay. Still tantruming. Can we just like... No, I can't give a kill order. 
So he's not going berserk, he's throwing a tantrum, which are different. You can throw rocks in the rock pile, that's fine. Just leave the dwarves out of it. fight here. Jeweler, yeah. The blacksmith looks sick. The dwarven child kicks the bard in the upper lip. Is that the one from before? Or just again? Dwarven child grabs the jeweler by the finger. Dwarven child grabs the jeweler by the upper left back teeth. Dwarven child grabs the tavern keeper by the hood. Okay. No, you... Eight kills. Child. Where did that even... No, you made it that far. Uh... <laughs> we may have already reached the point where this child counts as a forgotten beast. Or maybe a, um... So there's, there's forgotten beasts, but there's also mega beasts in general, which, uh, you think like, um, like the Colossuses and Etons and things like that. Um other things. There's also semi-mega beasts. I forget what those count as, or what counts as those. Like maybe were creatures? Something along those lines. You done now? The instant this dwarf is old enough for me to not treat him like a child, he's getting expelled. I, I will say that. He does not need to be in our fortress. He kills someone every time he tantrums, and he tantrums constantly. Unacceptable. Okay, they're still struggling with those four hatches. Oh. Did that help that one? Weird. Weird. They just don't like doing all four at the same time. Oh, that's about. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like the rip. I haven't seen that one before. That's a good one. Uh, has not yet begun working, but you're still grabbing things, I guess. on dwarves. That's totally fine. Jeez. Okay. You can all stop freaking about the floor hatches. I apologize. Get back to the smoothing, please. Got a nice big training going on. See this. Let's see. Yeah. Add a 
spearman. Did you grab a spear? You did. Good. I think everyone in our fortress is kind of good at spears just because there's so many spears <laughs> from all the fish. It's like the default thing, you know. back down to 15 FPS. Not sure what specifically we did there. Aside from upset the gods or something. Um, okay, so that got done. And then... <laughs> they've dug quite deep. Holy cow. case scenario purposes. they won't they won't go past here there's some sort of spooky thing happening here Is it because it's all warm stone? But it's not anymore. And they get closer to warm stone when I don't want them to all the time. They will happily jump into the magma, as we have seen. So I don't know why... Rock that had magma previously would cause a problem. Like tunnel in? And what about like over here? This is all just gonna be Ooh! We have found cave three. This is at negative 80. Goodness. Look at these nether caps. Nether caps are cool. I haven't seen nether caps in in this version yet. Is that this? Oh, look at it. That's cool. Nether caps, if memory serves, um, are a fireproof wood. And you only get them this far down. Look at all these little nether caps. This is a very muddy cave. And very tall. Look at all this. Wow. And then water. <laughs> I wonder what's in there. This is a very tall cave. Let's see. So we we poked through. 
through here. So we'll just immediately say ignore <laughs> those there. this off before something terrible happens. Um, and then we'll see what crawls out of this hole. That'll, that'll be fun. Like, look at this. This is a very strangely shaped cavern. But I like it. <laughs> There's not like a... Where's the ground? <laughs> This all goes down as a ramp, doesn't it? Huh. Um. One day the child will die, and after you dig down a couple hundred layers, you'll find him again in Dwarf Hell. That seems... Seems on brand at this point. Let's do, let's just do like this. We'll... See what else we can find here. Two steel bars. Well, we're getting through our steel. Human mercenary necromancer and the king. We're not here anymore, obviously. Baron of Mind Point, Baroness of Cudgel Traded, Baroness of Clasp's Charm. to aim faster. Um, can I get away with... I guess that would help it drain faster. Let's do this. I'm going to build a wall. I probably want to be able to turn this one off too, don't I? Uh, let's do suspend and then it will 
Auto one suspend. I want to be able to pause things on purpose sometimes. Uh, machine. Look it. how the smoothing has been like in some places but not others our trash situation is also because it's not that bad I never hooked anything up to this one I guess I should do that going we're making statues yeah here we go fresh statues statue of death hand the crystalline mountain the deity of mountains cool depicted as a male dwarf in porcelain Cool. Statue of a dwarf. Well designed image of a dwarf. Talking about you on stream, I wasn't sure to call you. Oh. Um, I mean whatever. Um the There's a whole very boring story <laughs> about the username um, but you can call me unchow that's kind of the name that I've gone most frequently um, but like unchowder unchow chowder chow would be yeah any of those would be fine I would respond to any of those I've gone like it's dangerous to mention this on the internet but I've used the name unchow for a very long time <laughs> I've been I've been known I've been known as Unchow for longer than I've been known as my actual real name at this point. <laughs> um, so that's that's kind of the most common thing. Um, but I've, I, I lengthened it to Unchowder because I thought it was more clearly not meaning anything. I've had people ask me if like Unchow was my name or if it was like a like a Chinese name. I'm like no, no, it's. It's nonsense. It's nothing. So hopefully Unshatter is like clearly nonsense was the idea. Uh, okay. I don't know what to... Everything is all bogged down again. How we, do we even have that many fish people here? I want to want to look. This won't kill anyone. It will tell me that we have 300k fish people. How? There's no ponds left. <laughs> 13 bulldogs, comma, naked. <laughs> Are there seriously... Are there seriously 300 K-fish people right here? Like, right here? I know that I left this... This never got finished. It's like now they can't even get over there.
This is that's really the spot, I think. I think we need to get yeah, so that one's there, and then we'll hook that up to a lever. One of these. What are all of these? I kind of wish the smooth designations weren't always visible. Uh, magma cave two magma bridges, cave two magma trap. These are all things already. Yeah. You're not linked. Okay, so you are going to be magma dung yeast mid. That's what that is. We'll link that all over here. are all going to be way downstairs now. We should link this up too, though. Oh. I thought I told you to do all granite, not half granite, half glass. The glass is important. Stop using my glass. Uh, but then we'll do this one. This will be K3 uh, K Link that down there. <laughs> miners and miners, yeah. I mean, I'm trying hard to say miner because my, like, I'm, I'm giving them dig jobs. I'm telling them to dig. So in my head, they are diggers. But I mumble too much to be saying that word all the time. So I'm trying to say miners. <laughs> okay. It looked like the, uh... This. Okay. Ooh, you grabbed a lot of stuff. Holy cow. Bronze, zircons, wool, morions, praise, pig iron. Emerald cut Goshenites. Rutile. This is a very gem heavy thing that you're making there. Are you already. This is a legendary miner who is being possessed. So, of course, the possessions. There's a couple different ways that you can get strange moods. There's fey moods, and there's being possessed, and then there's macabre moods. There's a couple different ones. Um, if you have a fey mood and you make a thing, like if you, you claim a stoneworker shop and you make something using stoneworking, at the end of it you become a legendary stoneworker. But if you're possessed, you don't get any experience out of it. You just make the thing, and then it's done, and then you go about your day. So, this person, he would have become a legendary stone crafter? Whatever skill he's using, we'll see what it is. But he's not going to become any better at it once he's done. They, like, wake back up and go, oh, that was weird. Possessed by unknown forces. Just possessed. Um, you will sometimes also see people be possessed by known forces. If you have a ghost, a ghost can possess a dwarf. But they don't that's not a strange move. That's just a bad thing happening. Uh, those are, have we filled our... Not quite. We still have some empty tombs. Surprisingly. Not many. Gonna say where 
are our, uh, our merchant caravans. But now it's winter, so now we're definitely not getting one. I want someone to come by so I can sell them all my buckets. stuff you got in your cabinet. Wow. Jeez, you are hoarding all of the clothing. Different child. <laughs> Must be the child of our broker. Okay. Makes sense. Sterling silver statue of Yeltope. The item is an image of Yeltope, the cavefish woman, and Issa Guttermold, the lurid, the forgotten beast. Yeltope is making a plaintive gesture. Issa, the lurid, is striking a menacing pose. The artwork relates to the mortal wounding of the cavefish woman by the forgotten beast a couple years ago. Okay. Much fewer cancellations now that we've <laughs> told them to stop bothering with those hatches. Okay, so all these got placed. That's cool. Statue of Dwarves. Crusted with well-crafted cushion-cut rose quartzes. Emerald-cut rock crystals. Encircled with bands of cushion clear... Cushion clear garnet cabochons. Rectangular green tourmaline cabochons. Wow. You really just loaded that one up with gems, didn't you? Well designed image of Smile Glory, the Tundra of Coiling, the Magnetite Scepter. Weird. Oh, that's right. I want. I need to chop down the trees in the bathhouse. <laughs> Because I can't place the statue until I cut down that tree. Okay. Okay, so we are digging down. Should make a... Okay. Cool. Oh, I trapped you. Haha, <laughs> joke's on you. <laughs> I told them to replace the stairs with floor, so now there's no upstair anymore. Glad I checked. Uh, oh, completed. Garnerite weapon rack. Very cool. We'll have to check that out. Uh, now, if I can do that, maybe? Does it work that way? Someone's gonna have to come down all the way here to rescue that person um okay hotkeys let's do here a3 now we can get down here without too much issue um speaking of let's go here is this connected mm, no uh, here. Someone's trying. Did this get smoothed? None of this, none of this has been smoothed. Smooth all the things. Um, oh, that's right. Let's place this weapon rack. Let's place this... No, we'll put it here. I don't know if I can put it on the pedestal. Do, 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 do. 
weapon rack. Up at the bottom. Nope. There. That's a name. Igishligig Shigus Emol. Cool. Um, and we could even just go here. Yeah. Contest berries, the pack of senses. It's a Garnerite weapon rack. It is encrusted with round Garnerite cabochons, oval microcline micro cabochons, square brilliant cut Goshenites studded with pig iron, bronze, and circled with bands of emerald cut traces and oval Morian cabochons. Holy cow. Menaces with spikes of rutile alpaca wool and black zircon. It's just covered in a bunch of stuff. <laughs> oh, and our poor crafting stockpile. Ooh! A siege. Uh... Okay. <laughs> everyone, everyone get inside. And we'll, we'll station our people. Should I station our new ones too? They have most of their gear. Get them some experience. Oh, what is this? No, that's just that's just a bird, not one of my birds. Okay. Is it a big wave or a small wave? So far there's only four, five. Six. <laughs> Is that all? Six goblins wander onto the map. You know what? I'm not even gonna wait for them. I'm gonna let's uh, we'll re suspend our burrow and then we'll take our four squads and we'll tell them to kill these six goblins. Some, uh, take some initiative here. What are they attacking? They're just shooting. What are they shooting at? What do your goblin eyes see? Louds. Profane haunts. That's a good name. Nightmare enjoined. That's a goblin name. Terror spike. That's also a good one. Oh, here they come. Hor horror reward. Say that three times fast. And cell monsters. These are all very good goblin names. Time to kill them so they end up in your kill log. Um, 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Siege done. Now you're all good. Where are you going? Going for a jog. Got to cool down. I'm going to go for a run. It just never comes back. <laughs> the store owner. He's good now. He ran it off. Masterpiece Steel Greaves. Very cool. Um... I would love for this to be done. Oh, maybe being done right now. Perfect. I don't know if they have to come back. They have to they have to do a thing here and they have to do a thing at the lever. Because we're still waiting for this to be dug anyway. the ravens I want to know where we at with raven training we are experts at training ravens how many do we have we have our so these are our three old ones um, our, our male chained there um, I wonder if I should unchain him I don't know. And then all the way down here we have, wow, skillfully trained, well trained. Cool. Ravens! Hooray! There's our. Yeah, you can just put whole weapon racks on top of pedestals. That's cool. The king is visiting again. Hooray. Maybe someday he'll move here. So the trees got chopped down, that's fine. Nope, not there. So someone some of these could be chopped down. Is this and that's a warm tile. Someone wants to cut that or mine that. This is so weird. Some weird invisible barrier that dwarves and naked mole dogs can see and appreciate, but I have no idea what's going on. Okay, well, that got done. Let's go ahead and do a wall. Must have just finished. Yeah, okay. It's done. 
Now if that gets dug and that gets made, I want to just, I want to kill just a couple more. Just a couple more fish people. I was gonna say it's like it's gotten quiet. I haven't seen so many fish people coming in and, and assaulting us, but it's not that they're not coming in. I'm just not seeing them, apparently. There's still 300 here. We have a bunch in, cage a bunch in cages. That's nice, at least. Like, look at all these. And clearly, we don't see 300. So there's a whole bunch of invisible ones there still. And what about you? How's your kill list? Just 30. <laughs> really just chilling now. Must have completely cleared out this, this cave. I think this one can fly. I don't say that with confidence. Uh, left toe. Yeah. Yeah. Is it you? No. Oh, you're doing the wall. Okay. I guess that's important. Okay. <laughs> you get inside the last second. So now that just needs to be dug. I can even just go ahead and pull this lever, right? Pull it. Um, okay. I'm also just assuming that we haven't opened up any more so that person got out. That's good. Uh, we haven't accidentally opened up more cave down here, so that's always good. I just want that. I'm going to credit all of the fish kills to you, Nomar. Oh, you're a human. Never mind. You can't have those kills. Okay. So Doug. And now... I'm not actively pumping in here, this is just kind of the remainder, but it's still gonna harass some fish people. How do you feel about this? Of course, they're like up here. Well, they're probably all in here everywhere. Here we go. I'm curious. Let's try... Three hundred and seventy-three, currently. Okay. 
Well, that will continue to drain. And once it's drained enough that I can, like, put a floor here. Oh, maybe it already is. This is this is stuff for next time, but we'll let's do machine floodgate. Yeah, I guess can't have a floodgate. Yeah, that's fine. Magma. More magma. for the moment. Um, we'll, we'll just let that drain. And eventually it'll, there'll be more magma. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we'll wrap up here. Uh, do, do, do. Right? Yeah, hi. Um, we'll, we'll wrap up here. Um, thanks for hanging out. Um, I know uh, for JM in particular, this is like quite late for you in your time zone, right? I don't know what your normal sleep schedule is, but geez. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. Uh, we'll be back doing this on Thursday. Uh, I'm going to do the same time. This didn't, obviously didn't make a dramatic difference, but we'll, uh, I'll, um, 1 a.m. Yeah, go to bed. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, more, more on Thursday and then Saturday more Sekiro and yeah, hooray. Um, yeah, I got, I got nothing. Bye. Take night.